Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a video for anyone who is at the max power level or close to it when the latest update patch 1.4.0 dropped earlier this week. You may notice you're getting skill points instead of mastery points when you level up. But don't worry, that's how it's supposed to work and it always happens whenever they add new skills to the game. And when that happens, when you level up, like I'm about to do right here, you'll notice you'll get skill points instead of mastery points like you were getting. And the reason for that is when new skills get added, they give us skill points so we can acquire the new skills before we go back to getting mastery points. And here I'm completing the weekly contract from Reda, the Yom speaking code. So I'm going to get opals, titanium, and carbon. But now I'm going to actually go back to my settlement in Ravensthorpe because I want to go to the store and buy a scroll of knowledge. And that is going to give me the third skill point that I need to acquire the three new skills. So you can go to any of the shops in England to get this scroll of knowledge. And it will set you back 700 silver. So it's quite expensive. You might not always want to do this, but whenever new skills come out, I often do this so I can try them out right away. And there I'm going to get one skill point from that scroll of knowledge. So I got two skill points when I leveled up, then I just got one skill point from this scroll of knowledge, giving me the three skill points I need to acquire the new skills. But if you want to try out the new skills before you level up, you can also just take points away from any of your current skills and put them towards the new ones. And the three new skills, first in the bear skill tree is perfect parry. Parry in the nick of time to deal additional damage to the attacker. And then in the wolf skill tree, improved bow stun finisher. Initiating the bow stun finisher will now shoot arrows at all stunned enemies in view, which isn't as useful for me since I don't use my bow very much in this game. But the one I am excited about is here in the raven skill tree, master counter roll adds a hidden blade strike while executing a counter roll. And counter roll is the one where you roll over the back of your opponent by dodging at them when they're attacking you. And so now you'll be able to use your hidden blade after you do that counter roll. And just to show that after you get those three skill points, you'll go back to getting mastery points. I'm going to go over here to Frankia, if you have the Siege of Paris DLC. So you need the Siege of Paris DLC in order to access Frankia here. But if you have it, you can take advantage of a glitch where you can buy additional materials from the store. So usually when you buy items from the store, they are out of stock for all vendors in the game, but that's actually not true for Frankia. So even though I just bought a scroll of knowledge, in England, when I come over to Francia, I can buy those same items again, whether it's leather or crafting materials or this scroll of knowledge. So I can buy a second scroll of knowledge over here in Francia. And again, it will cost 700 silver, but if you want some tips on farming silver, I will link that on screen and in the description below, but if you have the silver, you can get another scroll of knowledge. And you can see now I'm getting one mastery point. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.